Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a little life update, what is happening right now, because lots of things have changed, lots of things have come up in the last couple of months, uh, some really great opportunities, and basically an update on what it's like being a graduate student. I'm also going to be walking you through this makeup look. Uh, a lot of it's from Colourpop, just because that's how I roll. So let's just get into the get ready with me. So I guess we'll just jump right in with foundation. I've said it before, I don't use primer. I'm gonna go in with the Revol Makeup Revolution London foundation, stick foundation in F1. You may have seen me use this before in F6, uh, but I don't have fake tan on right now, so we're going to one. Uh, and I'm, yeah, is it a little light? No, it's just that I'm red here. It should be fine. So let me actually pull up a mirror. Oh no, this shade is fine. Um, and I usually, I'm kind of breaking out a little bit on my chin right now, but nothing major. I'm just getting ready to film some other videos, honestly, because I woke up so late. This looks cute. I woke up so late for college this morning that I just had to like get dressed and run. Well, like wash my face, brush my teeth and let the, the dog outside to pee and wake my mom up and be like, I'm leaving, please take care of the dog. That was kind of annoying. It doesn't like bother me having to go places without makeup, but I just don't feel like ready, you know? I just don't feel like prepared. It's like I, I prefer to like, dress up a bit more, I guess. Um, I always like wear an outfit as opposed to just clothes, <laughs> if you get me. Um, but I really had to leave at high speed this morning. But there's a couple of videos I want to film and I thought I would just kind of give you an update on my life, what is going on, um, and stuff like that while I get ready. So I think the last time I did one of these I probably had just started the semester or maybe I hadn't quite yet started the semester. Um, now we are in, I have a class tomorrow, it's currently Thursday. Uh, but this is week 11 of 12 weeks of teaching. So we're basically at the end of the semester, which is wild. Um, and then I have two papers due, well, a research proposal, like my thesis proposal basically, and um, a paper due on the 13th, but I also have a paper due on the 3rd. But that is it then for the semester. And um, there's been a lot of talk of like, thesis stuff recently which I'll get into in a minute but that is where we are right now uh, if you didn't know I'm a master's student I study peace and development and my background is in politics also a bit of like data and um, information studies but I've always been mostly politics focused I'm just gonna go in I use a shadow in this palette to fill in my eyebrows whatever so life has been a little bit crazy in the last couple of weeks uh, just because I didn't take on too many responsibilities, I'm not gonna say that, but I've just started to, I don't know, not get in, I don't know what, the, get involved or something like that, I don't know. But uh, basically a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago now I think, um, I signed up to help with a like preschool age kid dance class uh, with a local dance syndrome organization, like support organization. Um, that's really great. So I've been doing that. That's just for an hour, but it's in Limerick. So it's where I go to class, like where I go to college, but I actually don't have class on Monday. So I have to drive in just for that. So I usually go to the library for a couple hours before I go there just to kind of make my drive worthwhile because it's about 40 minutes away. So I've been doing that. And then again, recently I was on this website for like student volunteering or something. Um, yeah, it's just called like studentvolunteer.ie. If you're Irish, you should check it out. And I saw on there that uh, Trocra, which is um, like a development aid charity, it's the official development aid organization of the Catholic Church in Ireland and you know it's a big one it's legit uh they had posted they wanted they just needed some volunteers for you know like school going in giving talks and doing stuff like that and I had applied to do that before online and I had never heard back so I saw it there and I was like oh let me just apply again well, I heard back within like 20 minutes and a long story short within a couple of days, uh, it was kind of decided that I was gonna be volunteering with them. 
and that I'm hopefully going to be going into schools and giving talks about the work of the organization. Um, I need to still do my induction, uh, my references. They've like t spoken to one of my references I know already and just gonna speak to the other one. I'm kind of waiting on that, but I'm going to the official training next week, uh, like the official induction and everything. So that's pretty cool, but that's like another thing that like I'm just putting onto my plate. Um, and then obviously class. So I'm taking three classes. The way this works is that I, I'm taking three classes uh, this semester and one of them is like research methods. So it's all about you know like research methods and you know we have a couple classes a week in that now we have like a lab and stuff next semester i'll have like three classes like class classes and i'll also have like a research method type of i, th I can't remember what it is but it's supposed to like help us structure our dissertation and stuff for the like final the paper for the research methods class we have to have or we have to submit a research proposal so it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly what we're going to be doing our thesis on it's not the official proposal for our thesis but it's kind of a dry run and if it's a good one like it's better if it is the one that you're gonna do is basically what they've told us so i have kind of picked my thesis topic earlier today in class there was a class i was at today and we had to talk about what we wanted to do and I kind of put forward my ideas and they got the general kind of okay from um, the guy who teaches that class. It's not his area of like expertise, what I'm going to be hopefully doing mine on. He's more into like party politics, but uh, I'm hoping to look at the link between improvements in water hygiene and sanitation and maternal health. So that's just something I'm really interested in. So I just need to kind of start working on that. Thankfully, one of my best friends is a med student. So I uh, messaged her and I was like, hey. She was like, oh yeah. So she kind of gave me some suggestions and stuff, which is really good. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about it. Like I, I'm, it's something I'm really interested in. I was gonna do something a little different, uh, kind of staying away from the healthcare, just because it's kind of difficult for someone who's not in healthcare. Um, as I said, I'm in like peace and development. So, um, and this semester was our development class and next semester will be the peace class. I'm also taking a class called conflict analysis this semester, which is really good. I haven't been talking through my makeup. I'm using the Midnight Masquerade palette. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. It's from ColourPop. If you haven't seen it, it is so cute. A lot of people are like, oh, the shades aren't like that useful or blah, blah, blah. I really like it. So I'm going in with the color. Okay, it was really hard to get to focus there. I'm going in with the color Damsel. The packaging makes this so hard to show, so I'm gonna try and show it here. Okay, it's working right now. So I'm gonna go in with Damsel, and then I'm gonna go in with this color here, which is a uh, spinning wheel, and it's like a slight, it's like a white-ish, maybe an ivory, with like a duo chrome uh, pink. Love it, it's such a cute color. And then I'm probably gonna go in with, no, I think I'll probably leave it at that. We're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna keep it simple enough, because I always go overboard. Back to my thesis proposal. So I'm kind of looking at sources and stuff like that. So if anyone watching this has any insight on this, uh, let me know. But that's hopefully what I'm gonna be doing my thesis on um, or a dissertation. I don't know the difference. Uh, so yeah, that'll be due in August, but it's obviously better to start it sooner rather than later. And I don't have a research question because I actually don't think I'm going to do one. I think I'm probably going to do more of a descriptive type exploration. You know, it's not gonna be, uh, I'm not necessarily gonna be proposing a hypothesis because um, that won't necessarily make sense in this because there isn't, from what I can find, research on this yet. So um, it's kind of one of those things, it's, you know, you're kind of like, isn't that just a given? You know, like, of course it's gonna improve it, but there's, I haven't been able to find anything exactly about maternal. And I'm talking like both prenatal and postpartum, but focusing on like later stages of pregnancy and birth and then postpartum is kind of what I'm talking about. Um, as far as like how it can affect nursing and everything like that, because it's actually a big thing for water safety. I know that already. So, um, you know, preventing dehydration and stuff like that. So that is what's been happening recently. I've been trying to figure out my 
thesis proposal uh but we got it so <laughs> i need to obviously talk to a potential like my course director so i can get approval for it and stuff like that um but yeah so that's what's been going on with me recently other than that i've just been you know trying to keep up with school work uh i'm getting ready today because i'm filming two other videos i'm filming a haul which will probably be the last one to go up of these three but i'm also filming one that'll quite likely go up before this so I will link it in the cards and it is how I take notes in college because here's a fun story. I didn't take notes in undergrad. I'm the worst. Uh, I didn't take notes on my computer at all and I kind of took notes sometimes on like loose leaf paper in a folder but for doing the masters I was like okay if we're gonna do it we're gonna do it. So I kind of changed, not my attitude, but yeah, I just kind of redirected myself. I was like, okay, we're gonna set up a system. We're gonna follow the system. Cause if you didn't know, I'm a big planner girl. I used to have, a, I do still have a planner channel. I just don't post on it anymore. Um, but I'm an Erin Condren user. I'll have my Erin Condren referral link linked down below actually, cause I'm a massive fan. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of damsel again under my lower lash line. But I like to have a system and follow a system. So I have kind of established a system and a routine of how I was taking notes, when I was taking notes, stuff like that. And I stuck with it all semester for two of the three classes. One, the third class, I just really realized I didn't for the researcher methods. I could do the reading, but I really didn't need to take notes so much on a lot of the stuff. So I just stopped because I just didn't think it was a good use of my time. I don't know how cute this comes out on camera, but it actually turned out much better than I thought it was going to. So that's nice. I'm actually going to go back in with the powder because it's not that great, but it's the, you know, the lightest shade. The other ones, when I tested it out earlier, they're just too dark for me not having self tan on uh so this is like the lightest i don't have a translucent powder that doesn't really badly break me out like way worse than this all over my face so we don't really do a lot of translucent powders so i'm gonna film a video on how i do that and i kind of take cute looking notes you know they're not that cute but they're kind of pinteresty they're more than your average notes i would say uh i use you know colored highlighters and matching pens and stuff like that just because for me it's something that kind of keeps me engaged in it uh which sounds kind of juvenile but i don't care because it works for me so um i'm gonna be doing a little video on how i organize my notes how i take them why i take them the way i do and uh yeah and then i also have a little haul from a couple places just like one thing from Gap and then a couple of little pieces, two pairs of shoes actually, so uh, from ASOS and a dress that I'm obsessed with. Um, I'll insert a photo here or I won't because I'm going to do a try on for that haul. This is the problem when I'm super pale and I try to use the same amount of bronzer I usually do, I turn out really muddy. But I got a couple of fun pieces and I got a bag from... from Form. I got a bag from Parfois, um, which I don't know what country Parfois is in, but uh, it's like a bag and accessory store and it's a little mini backpack. I'm not so much of a backpack girl, like when it comes to handbags, but I saw this one and I was like, oh, uh, so I got it. So I'm going to be showing those couple of bits as well. I'm going to go in with my floating lights pressed powder blush from the same Colourpop collection. I wasn't sure how much I would like this blush, but I actually really like it, especially for when I'm paler because it's just, it's not too intense because I tend to go for like more of a peach orange blush, which can look a little too orangey when you're pale, um, even though I'm still like a big fan, but um, I definitely prefer something like this. I'm a big blush girl, I've said this before, I love blush. I'm just gonna set my brows with this, I'm not showing it because it looks so nasty. Uh, it's just the Essence Brow Lash Clear Gel, whatever. So that is kind of what's happening right now. It's all been very school orientated. Um, hopefully I will get to do some of the stuff with Trocra, the development aid organization, like doing the talks and stuff for them. Um, in I would like to be able to start in the new year but I don't know if that's gonna happen uh, just because obviously I don't go back to college until like the 
29th of January or something mad. So it would be really good to be able to go into schools locally here and uh, talk to them about it. And next week, it's crazy. I have like, sorry, my stomach keeps grumbling. Uh, I have a, what do you call? Like a job application thing I need to get done for Monday. And then on Tuesday I have class and then I have, oh, and on Monday I have the, the dance class volunteering. And then Tuesday I have class, which is the last class for conflict analysis. Um, and then I have the induction like six hours later uh, in a different place, but also in Limerick. So I'm just gonna stay in and hopefully work on that conflict analysis paper. Um, and then on Wednesday, I don't have class crazy my two classes are now like once cancelled once over for the semester so I'm using the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect mascara I'm obsessed with this mascara it's amazing you should try it for sure going to my old secondary school's musical because my neighbor's in it and I'm gonna go see her so that's fun and then Thursday I just have class in the morning but then Friday I also have class Again, just a one one hour class, annoying, it's a lab. Uh, but I'm going to a friend's giving, so that's funny. I actually don't know the girl who's hosting it. I'm going with uh, one of her housemates, like for, cause she invited me, she was like, hey, do you know how to make this? You should come. So I'm gonna go to that, and then that's officially my semester done. Which is crazy, uh, you know, we're surviving. I really didn't know how I would fare in uh, at a graduate level but I think I'm actually fine. So for the finishing touch I'm gonna go in with Sphinx. Also from Colourpop. Can you tell what my favourite makeup brand is? Also, so I bought my mom a lipstick from Colourpop and it's in the exact same packaging obviously but she came back from where she volunteers at a charity shop and she was like, everybody was complimenting me on my lipstick today and I was like, oh yeah, it's pretty cute. Then I was thinking, I was like, I haven't seen my Colourpop lipstick in ages. Who's my lipstick? Uh, she has her own lipstick. <laughs> but uh, this, I really like this. It's really pink, like it's just such a classic pink. I really like it and yes, I'm putting it on without any lip liner because I don't really care. I don't need it to last that long. So there we go. That is an update on everything, kind of, basically everything that is going on right now. Things are a little busy. I'm still hoping, I think I might do Vlogmas. Uh, I look like I bruised my head. I think that's better. So that is it for this video. So get ready with me. That is the update on my life right now. I am hoping to do Vlogmas. Uh, maybe more like video every day than vlogs, but we'll see how that works because I will have a research proposal and a 5,000 word paper due, so may not be quite feasible, but we're gonna try. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll leave a shortcut over here and I'll leave some other videos that you might be interested in over here, including the one I probably pro that I talked about earlier that I'm gonna post before this about how I take notes as a graduate student and follow me on Instagram at anime.yt to keep up with the everyday and I'll see you in my next video.